Recently, I opened a new YouTube account to build a recommendation feed about tech, building PCs, and all this stuff. I did it because I wanted to analyze and brainstorm content ideas. That was helpful. By the way, I created tons of viral videos. But I noticed a very strange thing that made me think deeper. I noticed tiny PCs started popping up in my YouTube For You page. The tinier the PC, the more views those videos had. I started digging deeper until I found the tiniest PC ever. And I found this Japanese guy who built a PC the size of a Coca-Cola can. And I was more interested in why people like it. I thought, is it because that guy is Japanese or what? Sorry Japan, but you guys really do like small things. So I observed a lot, from every perspective, from philosophy, psychology, and scientific and technological insights. And it turns out to be more complicated than that. Japan has nothing to do with it. So today, I'll explain why we love tiny pieces so much, why we get excited like kids when we see someone building one, and how that Japanese guy even built it in the first place. Let's get into it. So, tiny PCs, why the hell do people like them? Before we get into that, let's remember the original purpose of the PCs in general. They weren't supposed to be small at all. I'm not going to dig into the full history, but you probably remember how massive the first computers were, right? And over time, they got smaller and smaller until you could actually use one at home. Not just in a big basement or hangar. But yeah, big corporations still use big computers to run major services like YouTube, Google, Facebook, basically any large-scale platform or game. Those are called servers. They're necessary only for big corporations. Not even small companies really need them. Personal PCs, though, are different. They're designed for everyday users. And generally, personal PCs come in three main sizes. EATX, ATX, Micro ATX, and Mini ITX. Sometimes they're also referred to as full tower, mid tower, and so on. But the idea is the same. These sizes are more than enough for most people today. You would think we wouldn't need anything smaller than Mini ITX, right? Especially since we already have gaming laptops, which are small, powerful, and come with a keyboard and display all in one. But for some reason, that's still not enough. We want even smaller pieces, just because they are kind of funny. And let's be honest, they look cute, don't they? But in real life, almost no one actually wants to use them. Because building a tiny PC usually costs more than a building a regular one. Partly because of the lack of such tiny components. Smaller parts are harder to manufacture, harder to find, and often more expensive. And on top of that, they heat up more easily, since there's barely enough space for proper airflow. By the way, if you're building your own PC, whether it's a full tower or a tiny one the size of a Coke can, you're gonna need to install Windows. And yeah, I get it. The official price for Windows 11 is kind of a joke. So here's what I did. I used VIP SCD key, a site where you can get Windows 11 CD keys for way cheaper. Just go to vipscdkey.com, search for Windows 11 Pro, and when you're checking out, use my 25% discount code Aman, and you'll get it for just $23. And yes, it works. I will even show the full activation process on the screen. If you're looking for something even lighter, like Windows 10 LTSC, there's also a key for that at just $11. You have to use same discount code. And yeah, they also sell game keys, like Hammerwatch 2 for just $6 with the code AN25. All the links are in the description, feel free to check them out. Alright, let's get back to it. So, why do people still like them? Why does everyone want to build these tiny PCs? Well, let's look at it from a scientific perspective. In psychological terms, we all know that the most attractive thing about creating something is simplicity. Everything in the world today is simple. Clothes, food, cars, films, games, and even my videos. There's nothing complicated. And in tech, it works the same way. People don't like complicated concepts at first glance. It's because simplicity reduces the effect of what psychologists call cognitive load, the amount of mental effort needed to process information. We, humans, don't like to think too much. Even in evolution, chaos meant danger. Of course, this might not be directly related, but in wild, if the environment was full of chaos, it meant danger could be hiding somewhere. But if a place was open, you could see threats. So probably even today, when we see a minimal workplace or a tiny PC in an uncluttered setup, part of our brain feels, this is a safe place. I can focus, I'm in control. And later, this simplicity became not just part of style, it became beauty. All those symmetrical faces on TikTok or Instagram, minimalism and everything like that became associated with aesthetics. But why do we connect that to tiny PCs? Okay, here's the reason. 
reason. When we see big PCs, they take up a lot of space, which can later feel like clutter or even chaos. Of course, it's not that dramatic. We don't consciously realize it when watching someone build a tiny PC. We're just amazed. That's it. But what can cause a real effect and realization is cognitive dissonance and novelty. Which, yeah, sounds nerdy, but let me explain. This isn't my nonsense. In fact, it was introduced by American social psychologist Leon Festinger in 1957. And if you ignore the stereotypical jokes about Americans, this is actually a very wise concept. Cognitive dissonance describes the mental discomfort we feel when reality contradicts our beliefs. In simple terms, when we see things that don't fit our idea of reality, or things that just shouldn't exist, we feel discomfort. It triggers emotions we don't usually feel in day-to-day -day life. By the way, the horror industry uses this all the time, creating human-like creatures with something off about them. That's uncomfortable for our brains. You've probably seen those creepy AI-generated videos. They give you that weird feeling, that's it. When something is too big, it can also feel threatening, triggering discomfort or even adrenaline. That's why the first episode episode of Attack on Titan is so effective. The moment you see those huge titans, your brain immediately goes, why are there giant humans? And boom, you are hooked. Now you might ask again, why the hell does this relate to tiny pieces? They're not scary at all. Well, in this case, the explanation flips. But when things are small, the brain reacts differently. It releases dopamine instead. You see a PC that's tiny but still powerful, and suddenly your brain lights up. Wait, how is that even possible? What kind of sorcery is this? And that's cognitive dissonance again. But this time, it's working in a positive direction. And that's exactly why tiny PCs are so engaging on YouTube for you page. In philosophy, there's a saying, less is more. It comes from Ludwig Mies van der Rohe, a famous architect and one of the founders of the Bauhaus movement in the early 20th century. He believed that simplicity equals clarity, that stripping things down to their functional essence makes them more powerful. This idea influenced Apple, Tesla, and modern UI design. And it connects directly to the tiny PC movement, where the goal is maximum power in minimal form. It explains why people are obsessed with tiny PCs today. We've been conditioned by these brands and their clean, minimalist design that now we naturally respond to anything simple and efficient. So when we see a tiny yet powerful setup, that's an instant green flag for our brain. The philosophy of the school of stoicism also describes a little of this passion for powerful but small things, like as we said, a powerful PC. But in stoicism, this is described as simplicity. Even though small pieces aren't exactly simple, a tidy looking PC without space for unnecessary parts is closer to what simplicity looks like. In fact, in the school of stoicism, a philosopher named Seneca, who lived in 4th century before the common era, said, it is not the one who has too little who is poor, but the one who craves more. Stoicism teaches us to live simply, appreciate what we already have, and avoid unnecessary desires. Simplicity, in fact, was described in tons of philosophical writings, from Diogenes of Sinop, Nietzsche, and Immanuel Kant, but I won't even describe all of them, because this isn't a philosophy channel, alright? But maybe I'm the only person in the world who can convey two completely unrelated worlds, like tech and philosophy. I can't even explain this level of schizophrenia. It just is what it is. So now we have to end this video. Oh, 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 I almost forgot. I was supposed to explain how that Japanese guy built such a tiny PC. Okay, he used a 3D printer for the case, used some tiny specs. I have no idea where he even got them. So thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel, and take care.